Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. In this vid in Android, I'm going to talk about how your Hello World program works, what are the different parts of your Hello World program, and how they interact with each other to give you your complete app. This is going to be unlike any vid you have ever seen on YouTube. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. All we need to do is print Hello World. This is the only objective we have. But for this, we have to see a series of things. We have to see why Android differs from the other OS and what has evolved, what, is, what are layouts and blah blah blah. So let's go ahead, get this baby started. But before we go and discuss anything about Android, what I want to show you is something about J2ME. Now I don't know how many of you are familiar with J2ME, but there are certain points that I want to show you here. If you take a look at this code, don't worry about what it does, but if you see, there is some command over here which says next. I have I highlighted that with the arrows over there. So what is the problem with this approach? There is a nice amount of there are nice amount of problems with this, and that is why Android was evolved from J2ME. You can say that. Uh, here, if you see the text like next, exit, new, you're putting them inside your Java code, right? So if you make some changes to them, or if you change them in one place and forget to change them in the other place then your program is not going to work right. That is one of the biggest problems which you had in J2ME and that is the reason why Android thought that they should keep things separated. What Android did was they separated the strings, they separated the appearance, they separated the code. This is what they did. So let me go ahead and show you how Android separates this stuff. In this program if you guys can see if you change the next over here and if you do not change the next over here then this is going to cause problems right. It's not going to run. Same way Again, you're adding your appearance over here by saying the size is 30 and uh, what you call the text field should be positioned in the center or something like that. But if you want to modify the appearance, you have to come back to the Java code and figure out how the stuff works, right? So as far as uh, appearance and code and uh, what you call text values are concerned, all of them being in the same place is a big problem, all right? Because modifying them becomes complex. This is a small app. Think about something which has like 10,000 lines of code and someone says, hey dude, uh, where is that text which says next number? And uh, you, you say, oh man, I have to find by pressing Control F. So let me go ahead and show you what Android does in this case. So Android has a way of separating things. It separates everything, your Java code, your resources, your configuration files, whatever. So first things first, here is your Android app. Now this is made up of three main parts. One being your Java code files, they are put together separately. Other being resources and the third being configuration files. Now you guys are having a lot of questions right now. You're wondering what these resources are. You're wondering what these configuration files are. Don't worry much. I'm going to go into each of them in full detail. So let me go ahead and see what resources are. So if you see normally there are three things that you want to store and there are some extra stuff also that you want to store separately in your Android project, right? Your Android apps are made up of many things. One of them being this icon. You see this messaging icon over here. Now these kind of things, images and stuff are stored inside a folder called drawable in Android, all right? It's pretty simple, drawable. And if you open your Eclipse, you will probably find some weird looking folders like drawable HDPI, XDPI or something like that. Don't worry too much about them. Now, X HDPI, HDPI and other stuff is for particular screen densities. We are going to talk about screen densities in a separate bit where I'm going to show you what Android design guidelines are talking about, making icons and stuff. The next thing is the appearance, all right? Now, if you see here in this case, the hello world and the button, they are one below each other. But you can also customize that in a different way you want. If you see, take a look at this one, the hello world and the button are near each other, right? So in this case, you control the appearance through something, some XML files which are placed inside this folder called layout. All right, simple, right? It's a layout folder. You have all your appearance files which are written in XML and that control the appearance. And next, last but not the least, you have the text hello world. Now there are many fixed pieces of text in your app. All these fixed pieces of text are put together in a separate file which goes inside this folder called values. Now this values has uh, strings.xml file, you can have many different files over here. All of them only store text that you're gonna use in your apps, all right? Fixed piece of text. And other than this, there are of course other files like color files, animation files, then menu stuff and all the stuff. We are gonna see those things in detail later as we progress through the course. But for now, all you need to know is this. So next, I'm gonna go and talk about what values are, the basic file which we started with. Now if you talk about values, 
this is the folder values where all your strings get stored right so what you do is basically something like this if you have your hello world text you take this hello world text you put it inside a tag called string and you close the tag because this is XML you s open and close the tags properly and you give this a name now why do you give this a name because this XML hello world piece of text needs to be identified in your Java code right I mean from your Java code how will you know what to access this hello world name hello underscore world is what is gonna be uh, accessible or you can say identified from your Java alright and you put this entire thing inside resources and uh, uh, last but not the least you define your XML version and you define your encoding for that and remember you can have many such pieces of text many such string tags alright it's pretty simple so now that you have s understood this this part we are done with this in the next part I'm gonna start talking about layouts and how they work so if you like what you saw please subscribe to our channel comment let us know what you think about this I'll catch you in the next vid thanks for watching